Hello guys, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you very much for stopping by. If you've not subscribed to my channel, please kindly do so. This will really mean a lot to me as that is the encouragement I get in putting up all these lovely videos. If you are new to my channel, hello, my name is Vivian Bernard and I am the content creator of Vivian Bernard Sewing Tutorial. I upload videos every week. Make sure you click on the notification bell so you get notified each time I upload new videos. In this tutorial, we'll be learning how to make this beautiful eight pieces fan. Make sure you watch till the end. Make sure you don't miss any step, okay? So you get clarified on how we are able to achieve this beautiful eight pieces fan. And in the course of watching this tutorial, if you get confused on any part, make sure you drop your questions on the comment section below. I will attend to that. Alright guys, let's get started. So the pattern we'll be using for this tutorial is a basic pencil trouser pattern. Okay, I have a tutorial on where... I explained very well with clarity how to draft a basic pencil trouser pattern okay so that is what we are going to be using so I have the front and the back trouser pattern here okay so you can see the front I'm showing you the front and you can see the back okay if you've watched that my tutorial on how to draft a basic pencil trouser pattern you will understand very well so it's very much advisable for you to go and check it out okay so that you can understand how we get here all right so i will also be putting the link below so it's you can find it very easy to go and wash it okay so and the length of the trouser i have here is 47 inches okay so if you've also watched my tutorial on how to take a perfect measurement for trouser drafting, okay? You understand that the measurement I use here is my sideways to flow, okay? Sideways to flow. When we are drafting a pencil trouser, the uh, measurement you normally use is your sideways to ankle because um, a pencil trouser doesn't touch the ground. But because this is an eight pieces trouser, it has to touch this flow so that it can flow very well okay yeah i hope you guys are understanding what i'm explaining right away so what i'm going to do basically is to get the midpoint okay the midpoint i'm just going to it's just like basically dividing um, my pattern into two okay normally we have two pattern that we we trace out after drafting which is the front pattern and the back pattern but i'm trying to divide this pattern into two because what we are sewing is eight pieces trouser okay so the pattern we are trying to draw to trace out here is will be four so two piece two panel for the front and two panel for the back you can see i already placed a paper under my pattern so this is what i'm going to be tracing for the front because for the front i have two panel the side panel and the center panel and i'm showing you the side panel okay panel two so this is the side panel for the front okay and the other one i'm showing you now is will be the center panel okay for the front so the front trouser pattern will be two piece okay panel one and panel two so you can see the center line I drew initially, that would be what we divide it, okay? So yeah, I'm going to trace it out, the front, okay? And this is the back. This is the side panel for the back. You can see as I'm showing you, we are going to trace it upward, to follow the center line, and yeah. And for the center panel of the back, you are seeing where you are starting to trace out, okay? So like I explained initially, we have panel 1 and panel 2 for the front trouser pattern. And for the back trouser pattern, we have panel 1 and panel 2. Okay? So that is it. So we are tracing out four panels. So what I'm going to do is to use my pin to secure that paper I put under. Okay? So after securing it, I'm going to get my tracing wheel and I'm tracing panel 2. Okay? Panel 2 of the 
of our front trouser pattern okay so you know we have the side panel and the side panel is what i'm tracing okay which is panel two so i'm tracing the side panel of the front trouser pattern so you are just going to do basically what i'm doing and you are going to get it this is very simple guys so after tracing it i will remove my paper and i will get my pattern master and my curvula to retrace it okay so i'm retracing it right away i love working with pencil okay i think that's the professional way of doing things for me it works better for me so that if there is any mistake i will clean it up yeah so i will also locate the knee point good because that's where the fullness is going to start from okay so you can see the inseam parts i'm adding half inch other parts i don't need allowance okay you understand if you watch my tutorial on how to draft a basic pencil trouser pattern so after that i'm going to cut it out okay so that way we have our panel too for the front trouser pattern okay So this this video is very awesome please like this video guys thank you all right so i'm going to trace the panel one of the front trouser pattern you can see where i'm following okay just do the same thing i'm tracing the panel one of the center of the front trouser pattern okay which is also known as the center front okay because since it's two panels, we have the side panel and the center front, okay? Okay, the side is the side panel and the center panel. <laughs> I hope you guys understand what I'm explaining. So I'm going to use my pattern markers to retrace it too. So after the tracing, I'm also going to add half inch seam allowance on the inseam. That is where I'm going to join it back, okay? After creating the fullness, because the reason why we are dividing this is just to create the fullness, okay? The fullness which is going to start from the knee point, okay? Yeah, so I'll cut this out. So that way I've successfully traced my... panel one okay on our previous tutorial on how to draft a pencil trouser pattern we trace this just as one but in this tutorial we are tracing the front trouser as two the reason is because we want to create fullness from the knee okay if not for the fullness that we want to create for the from the knee there is no point dividing it into two i hope you understand so i'm tracing the panel two which is the side panel of the back trouser pattern okay so that is what i'm tracing right away so after tracing it um i'm also um tracing the knee points okay yeah so after that i'm going to use my pattern master and my pencil to retrace back okay so if you've been following me you notice that i don't like cutting my patterns okay i like preserving my patterns and instead i'll use my tracing wheel and pencil to trace my designs out okay so that i can be able to use the pattern next time okay so i think that works very much best for me so i'm also adding half inch seam allowance to the inseam of my panel of my panel two of the back trouser pattern so like i explained earlier the earlier this inseam is just to join 
the, the panel back, okay, after creating the fullness. So I'm cutting out my panel too of the back trouser pattern, okay. So I'm tracing the panel one, which is the center front of the back trouser pattern, okay? You can see where I'm tracing. Yeah. So guys, if you've not liked this video, please consider doing so. If you've not subscribed to my channel, Please also consider doing so, okay? Thank you. So I'm going to remove this paper and retrace what I've traced, okay, with my pencil. I'm simply making it evident with my pencil. So I'm retracing with my pencil and I'm also marking the knee line, okay? That's, that is where we, we are going to create the fullness, okay? That's where this fullness is starting for. It's just like doing a six pieces skirt, okay? Yeah. So I'm also adding half inch seam allowance on the inseam only. I'm not adding any other places because when we drafted this pattern, we've added seam allowances there, okay? So that is why it's very important to watch that tutorial on how to draft a basic pencil trouser pattern, okay? I'll put down the link below, okay? So that you can watch and understand, okay? The only place we need seam allowance is just or at the inseam, at that center, center line that we draw so that we can be able to join it back after creating the fullness. So after tracing out, you can see what we have. You can see we have our front panel and our back panel. The front is two piece, while the back is two piece, okay? Making four piece, okay? So when you join it back, you can see that we have our normal trouser pattern. The reason why we divided it is just to be able to create this fullness, okay? You can see it's four piece. So that is it. It's just very simple and, you know, clay so i'm going to start off with the front trouser pattern okay so we want to create the fullness and the fullness is starting from the knee okay you can see i've also made the knee line evident okay so you are going to place your trouser pattern on a fresh paper starting from the knee okay so i'm using five inches on both sides you can use more than if you want more fullness, but I think five inches is very okay on the minimum side, okay? So I'm measuring five inches and I'll make sure that I have five inches from that point, okay? I'll make sure that I have five inches on that point, okay? Before using my gum to tape down this paper, okay? So you can see where I place the new paper is starting from the knee. So if, if you want your fullness to start somewhere above the knee or below the knee, it totally depends on you, okay? So after that, I'm going to get my pattern mask and draw a horizontal line at the hemline, okay? So I'm measuring five inches on both sides, okay? And I'm just going to get my long ruler to connect it. Okay, that way we've created that fullness. So we've created that fullness that we desire. So after that, I'm just going to cut this out. So 
so there is no need to add sim allowance as sim allowance is already included okay yeah after that i will set this aside i'm done with the panel one of the front trouser pattern okay i'm basically going to do the same thing on the panel two of the front trouser pattern okay so i'm basically doing the same thing i'm I measured five inches and I will tape down my paper. Okay. After that, I'm measuring five inches on both sides and I'll connect it just the way I connect the center panel. Okay. So if you are hearing about center panel and side pattern, side panel, just know that it's because I divide my front trouser pattern into two okay so panel one is the center panel and panel two is the side panel okay so you don't get confused on those um, words okay so i'm just going to cut this out and i'll basically do the same thing for the back trouser panel pattern okay so just the same way i added fullness to the front trouser pattern i'll do the same thing for the back trouser pattern okay yeah so you can see how the front trouser pattern looks both the panel one and panel two so i'll just do the same thing for the back so after creating the fullness this is what i have okay so for the front pattern i'm cutting two two piece each okay for panel one and panel two 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 piece each and for the back trouser pattern, I'm cutting two two piece each. Okay. So you notice when I cut two two piece each for these um, panels that I created, automatically we have eight pieces. Okay, that is why it's called eight pieces trouser. So you can see I'm showing you that I've cut out two two piece for each of this panel. Okay. I have four patterns here. Okay. And the reason why it's four is because this is eight pieces trouser and i've cut two two piece for each of this pattern okay i hope this is well understood <laughs> i think i'm emphasizing more <laughs> so you can see i'm just marking that knee point okay so that by the time i remove my pattern i won't get confused on you know where the knee i just want to be able to join it properly that's why i'm marking those points so you can see that i've removed the pattern and you can see i'm just you know marking the back the material i use there is a duchess material okay so i'll set aside i'll set aside the front trouser the back trouser pattern here yeah. so I'll, I'll so that we can work with the front okay so what i'm doing is just you know basically joining it back okay so I'm pinning it after pinning it. I'm just going to go and run a stitch at that center just to join it back. Okay. So after joining it back, we have our our one pair of trousers. Okay. <laughs> so we no longer have two for the for one side of the front trouser pattern. We will now have one after joining it back. Okay. This is just very simple. Okay. The technique of just dividing this. Um, into two piece each is just to add the fullness okay i can't emphasize this more <laughs> okay i'm also joining the other side okay so after painting it down i'm going to go to my sewing machine and join it okay so that we can have our front trouser pattern in full I think I talk too much. <laughs> I'm explaining this a lot, but I hope you guys are understanding this. I just want you guys to get the points and understand the basic of doing this, okay? That is why I'm talking and explaining this this much. So you can see what we have here after pinning it, okay? Yeah. So after sewing it, this is how it's going to look like. I will set this aside. I will also do the same thing 
for the back trouser pattern okay i'm just going to pin it down the same way i did for the front okay i'll pin it down and also sew it down okay So guys, if you've not subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. That is the only encouragement I get in putting up all these lovely videos. It's not easy, my sister. <laughs> it's not easy, my brother. So <laughs> please consider liking this video so that it can go viral, okay? Thank you. So I'll also pin the other side, okay? Yeah. So in the course of doing this, if you don't understand any parts, you should drop your questions on the comment section. I will attend to that, okay? So after pinning it carefully, I will go to my sewing machine and sew this down, okay? So after sewing them, you can see how it looks like, okay? You can see our front trouser pattern and our back trouser pattern. So I'm basically going to pin the front, okay? I'll pin both fronts. At the crush at the crush okay so you can see where i'm holding is the crush i'm going to pin it down right side facing each other so this is the front panel okay just place it right side facing each other and you are going to pin it down at the crush you are going to do the same thing for the back if you've been watching my tutorial on how to sew a um, pencil trouser straight palazzo sewing this won't be a problem for you okay yeah because i know that from here everything is now very easy okay if you've watched my tutorial on how to sew a straight palazzo trouser okay i also showed how i made the trouser okay so you are going to go and sew it down so after sewing it down this is how it looks like okay so you are going to get the front trouser and you are going to pin it down from that crush area, okay? You are going to pin it down from that point. Make sure both points are equal, okay? Both points rhyme. So you are just going to pin it down from the inseam, okay? After pinning it down, um, you are going to use 0 0.75 inches if it's a stretching material to join it from that inseam okay but if it's not a stretchy material you're just going to use half inch to join it okay so this is a duchess material it's light stretchy so i'm using 0 0.75 inches to join the inseam okay So if you've been watching my videos on trouser making, at this point, you will already know what to do, how to complete it, okay? I believe you guys already know how to do this. Just, you know, I'm showing this for the sake of the beginners, okay? But even a beginner that has been following my tutorial on trouser making will understand how to do the rest from this point, okay? So guys, please like this video. It's very important to me. Share this video. It's very important to me. Subscribe to my channel. It's also very important to me. Thank you very much as you do this.
so i'll go to my sewing machine and join it and after joining it at the inseam can you see that after joining it i'm just going to pin down the sides okay so for the side i'm going to join it by one inch okay i'm going to pin down the side and join it by one inch okay so i'm not going to join both sides i will join both sides but at one side i'm going to leave a space where i'm going to put the zipper allowance okay and for this trouser it's not going to be having a band okay as because we didn't reduce the inches for the band height okay so i'm just going to use a facing to turn the upper part of this trouser you can also use a band okay so in my previous tutorial, I've, I explained very clearly how to, you know, use a band to finish up the upper part of your trouser, okay? But for this tutorial, I'm going to be using a facing. And I believe that you guys already know how to use a facing to turn up your trouser, okay? So after putting my zip, I will use a facing to turn it, okay? I won't be showing this here because this video is already long and I know that you guys don't like long videos. So for this video to be short, you know, I'm not going to show in, I'm not going to be showing the facing part, okay? Because this is very simple. All right, I will finish up the rest and I will show you guys what it looks like. 